Hello, I hope you're all well. Today we are looking at the final why, how that might affect spellings, and also what we do when it becomes plural. So I'm going to explain the first bit first, which is when Y changes to the sound I or E. So I'm going to go to the whiteboard right now. So I'll give you some examples, demonstrations on there. So let's start with the basics. Firstly, the letter Y can sometimes take on this sound, I or E. So when we see a Y at the end of a word, it doesn't say cry -ya with a ya sound, although it is a ya here, it sounds more like a I, doesn't it? Dry sounds like an I. And shy with a Y on the end sounds like an I. So the letter Y can be quite tricky. Sometimes it can say I with a dot on the top, or I could put the dot there. So that's pretending to be an I. And sometimes it can say the letter E. You see my letter E there, it's leaning over a bit. So sometimes Y doesn't just say Y, yeah, or the I sound, sometimes it says the E sound, as in E, as there, easy, easy, that's got an E sound. Fairy, that's got an E sound. And lazy, that Y there has got an E sound. So those are the basics. I'm going to clear the board and then we are going to look at plurals and some other words and spellings. Don't panic, we can do this, okay? So if we look at these words, we we'll see most of them say the E sound, I-V. Can you see it here? It's going to be an E. I-V, hurry. Gaily. So the Y is saying E mostly on these. Thirsty, lady, sixty, nearly, and nutty. Most of these have the E sound. Gravy, puppy, bunny, party, dizzy, navy, daddy, fifty. You can see it down here as well, that all the E sound, but there are plenty of words that have the I sound. So look out for that Y that says I or E, not just the Y sound. But look, there's something else going on here. We've got some spellings going on. So it says here, we have to use double consonants when there is a short vowel. So here we've got a uh sound. Can you see? I'm just going to change colour so as not to confuse you. We have the uh sound. It's a short. It's not saying you, is it? It's saying uh. So we've got two R's. We have to double it and then add the Y. Okay. Another one with... Oh, this is another uh sound. N T. So we've got nut, that's the basic word. And then we're doubling this and adding Y. So it's nut plus the T, because we're doubling it, because it's a short vowel, add the Y. But we have some long vowels here as well. So I'm going to change it to red. This one's daily. And A and I say one sound, they say A. A is a long sound as opposed to A. So we say, we add the Y, Dale. You still have to put your U there, and then you add Y. 
And let me find another one. Gravy. Can you hear the A sound? So you put gura A, V, you put your V in, and then you add the Y. Long sounds, you don't need to double your consonant letters. Only short sounds, like this one, puppy. Put a uh sound, so we've got two Ps. Put up, that's the main word, puppy. Double these two letters here and add Y. So it would probably be a good idea for you to download this sheet, print it, and then underline all the short vowels. You might want to choose yellow as I have here. So that's actually I, that's a long one, I, V. So you just add in, you don't need to double that one. Okay. You do need to double this, hurry, two R's, because that's a uh sound. So if you underline the short sounds in one colour and the long sounds in another colour, you'll see that the ones that have got short sounds have got double letters, like puppy, um, bunny. And the ones that have got sunny as well, look, the ones that have got long sounds don't have the double letters. So perhaps if you try that first, and then we'll have a look at um, the bottom part of the sheet. But before we do that, it's probably good for us to go to our switch sheet. Okay, so let's try some of these words. Hopefully you've downloaded your sheet and you've underlined the short sounds and the long sounds. So let's do a short sound, hurry. So I've got a huh, a huh. Two of these because it's a short sound here. Hurry before I add the Y. Hurry, huh, huh, er, er, Y. It says an E sound, hurry. You drag that up there. Oh, forgot to tell you, read them out. So the sounds. I'll find another long sound, I think. Just looking for one now. Shady, it's on the bottom line. So shh sound. Oops. I hope you like you can drag that one down, can't you? Shh. A long sound. Sh aid. I don't do a double D because this is a long sound. I just add the Y. Shady, shh, A, D, Y, that says E, shady. See if I can find another one, another long sound, just one second. Hmm, gravy. That's on the second, third line. G, R, A, V, Grave, E, Gravy. That's in the sauce that you put on your dinner. That is a long sound. You do not do two Vs, you just do one. So write it on your board. G, R, a, V, E, baby. Okay, do one more short sound. There's more short sounds on the sheet than there are long sounds. So I'll do nutty, which is on the end of the first line. Nutty. N. Can you hear the uh? 
instead of the U sound, not at. So that's how you do it if you're doing nut. But you're doing nut T. So you need another one of those. Because that's got a short sound. And then you add your wa. N. A. T. T. E. Nutty. Then rub it off. N. A. T. T. E. It says Y, but you know it says the E sound. So that's a short demonstration of what you need to do. But if I was you, I'd pick out all the short sounds first and then do all the long sounds. Okay? So I hope you get on well with that and we'll move on to the next activity. So if you're making your word plural, we have to drop the Y and add I-E-S. For instance, hurry. Okay, you've got your two R's because that's a short sound that stays the same. But instead of leaving that Y on there, we put I E S. Hurries. She hurries to the shops before they close. Same with this one. This works with both the long and the short sounds, by the way. Fairy. So we take the Y off. We add I-E-S to make it plural. So there's more than one fairy. It's fairies, no Y. Take it off, I-E-S. Same here, story. You want to make it say stories. We heard more than one story. We heard many stories. Take the Y off. Add I-E-S. And here, pony. Take the Y off. I saw three ponies today. So take the Y off. Add I-E-S. That's plural. Carry. Carries. Okay, baby, take the Y off, babies. But what if it's in the past tense? Hurries is something that is happening now or will be happening, and it's plural, but just suppose it's something that's happened in the past. So I hurried to the shop. You do the same thing, you take the Y off, and instead of adding I-E-S, you add this one, I-E-D, here. So if it happened in the past, no S, you add a D. Doesn't work with fairies, does it? I fairied, no. <laughs> or storied, doesn't work, if you can't do storied in the past. You could say, I read four stories last night, which is different. Carried, it works here, look. Carries, if I carried the shopping yesterday, so they put in the S there, I put this, I, E, D, carried. So there's only two there, but there are many more. Shall we go back to our tiles and see if we can practice these as well? Oh, I had a little problem there. So hurries, I'll try and demonstrate this to you. Hurries, H, R. Uh. So it's double R, isn't it? Double R. Because it's got a uh sound. This is hurry. Now we're going to make it hurries. She is hurrying or hurries to the shop. If you take these down. Okay, so the other word we had was fairies. Oh, no, before we do that, I'm silly me. I'm going to bring them back up. Very sorry. Wanted to show you the past tense as well. 
there's a few that have past tense. I need to move them along. Here we go. No, I hurried to the shop, which was past tense. I'm going to put that up there. I hurried to the shop. I take the S off and I add I, E, D, hurried. So can you write that on your whiteboard as well, please? There's one change, isn't there? The S changes to D if it's past tense. Her, uh, er, er, I, E, D, her, read. Also, you can do what we've done in other lessons, is cross it out, rub it out, her, uh, er, er, I, E, D, her, read. So I'm going to put that over there, and this here, and this here, and get rid of these. Okay, now fairies. Can't do fairies in past tense, but you can do them in plural. Plural meaning more than one. That's right, fairies. So it's a long sound. If you've got these two vowel sounds together. Fairies. Fairies. Now, normally you'd have the Y there, wouldn't you, for fairy? So you take that out and add I, E, S, fairies. There you go. Write it on your whiteboard. A, I, E, S, story. Story S T. Got an or sound, haven't we? So it makes it like a long sound. And I'm going to move these two over. This is what it would be if there's one story, more than one. We've got that or sound. Take that off. Add I E. S stories. Can you write that as well on your whiteboard? S -t uh, or, sorry, or I E S stories. And then we have ponies, which is the same. So you do pony, add the Y, take it off, add I E S. And carries. Now I'm going to do carries because carries can be done in the past tense. Carry. So I'm going to do carry here. K A short sound, right? Double R. Let's move them together. This would be a Y here, and these wouldn't be here. Carry. However, short sound. Double R. Let's move that. We're making it plural. Carries. And present tense. Carries. Write that on your board. K. A. R. R. I. R. I. E. S. You could also say carried, I carried the shopping. And you take the S off, past tense, it happened already. Add the D, carried. And then babies, so let's move that. You need to, you know how to do babies, don't you? So you do baby, B-A-B-Y. Now you add, I think you know. You add I E S. So practice it with your tiles, write it on your whiteboard, rub it off and say the sounds. It just helps you to remember.
So I thought we'd go to the reading next. So click on Oxford Reading Tree and log yourself in. Go to the free ebooks and find this book, A Pony for a Day. Notice it's got this Y on with the E sound. That's why we chose it today. A Pony for a Day. There's no sound on this one, so I'm going to try to read as much as I can for you. Hello, Cracker. This is the dot, the horse's name or the pony's name, beg your pardon. This is Meg. This is Ella. And she's the one saying, hello, Cracker. Ella was at riding school. She was very excited. Oh, look, he sound very. She was going to ride a pony and look after it all day. But which one? Meg showed her cracker. His coat was brown and white. He had a black mane. See that there? That's the mane. Look how tall he was. 148 centimetres. A pony can be up to 148 centimetres from the ground to the top of its back. It says, hello, Ella. I'm a bit muddy. This page is about grooming. Cracker needed to be groomed. Ella brushed the mud off Cracker's coat. It was hard work. Mega showed her how to scrape the mud out of Cracker's foot. That was hard work too, but Ella wanted to have a go. Up Cracker, up. Telling him to put his, his foot up. So there's a dandy brush to rub off the mud. A hoof pick to clean the feet, the wall, the hard outside covering of the roof, that bit there. And frog, the soft part of the roof is there. Foot, I mean. And hoof, did I say hoof? I meant hoof, do beg your pardon. Mind my frog? Ooh, I wonder what that means. Let's turn over. <laughs> Ready to go. Ella couldn't wait to ride Cracker. She helped to put on his bridle and saddle. See that bit there? This is the bridle with the reins. There's the saddle where she sits. She did up the girth under his tummy. Cracker was ready to ride. Follow my leader. Ella put on a hard hat. She was ready to ride. In the arena, Meg helped Ella to mount. She felt really high up. Other children were there riding ponies too. First they walked around in a circle, then they steered around some cones. Cracker knocked one over. Uh oh. When you ride, you must wear a hard hat. This can usually be borrowed at the riding school. You must also wear Jodhpurs, these kind of trouser legging things, gloves, t-shirt, jumper, and a jacket. Oops, Cracker says, better steering next time, please. Feeding time. By the end of the morning, Ella felt very hungry, but she had lunch. She helped to fill a hay net for Cracker. He was hungry too. There you go, Cracker. Ponies mostly eat fresh grass or hay, dried grass. Ponies always need water in their stable or out in the field. Mm. Cracker likes it, it's going munch, munch, and it yum. Right away, after lunch, everyone set off down the lane. They rode along a track and over a stream. Ella and Cracker liked splashing through the water. On the way back, a car driver wanted to get past. Meg steered Cracker to the side of the lane. Good steering, said Cracker. If drivers are careful when they pass you, always smile and nod to say thank you. As drivers need to slow down, don't they, if they see you on a horse going by. Goodbye, Cracker. When they arrived back at the riding stable, Ella helped to take off Cracker's bridle and saddle. 
She gave Cracker a big hue, a big hug, beg your pardon, and a carrot. What a day. It was the best day of her life. Thank you, Cracker. When you give your pony a carrot, always hold your hand flat because you don't want them to bite or chew your fingers. Goodbye, Ella. Come back soon. So once you've read it, can you go back? You haven't got to read it all over again, but just see if you can pick out some words. Here we go. Find a few for you with the Y ending. Here we have some. Pony, you can see it there, with an E sound. Got the A, but that's a, that's different, that one. So uh, I'm not going to include that one. But we've got very, very with an E. And you'll find there's more here. Look, muddy with a Y, but it sounds like an E. And you'll find quite a few through the story. So once you've done your reading and you found your words, click on this one, which is again, Y words that end with the I sound. So just click, you've seen this before, no doubt. And so you just click, and then you click on these, hit them all to start. Cry. That ends with a Y, but it sounds like an I, doesn't it? Then it moves you to the next one. Hit molds that are correct, so they've got to have a Y ending and sound like an I. So cry, cry, my, cry, cry. There you go. Then you go to the next level. Easy, huh? Okay. Let's go back and let's do the next game. So this one is plurals, Y to I, E, S. So you're popping a balloon this time. There's a train coming, we've got lorry. Yeah, and hurry, look. So lorry, I need to click on that one to get it to go in there. Lorries, I-E-S, quite easy. So pop the balloons. 